Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, I look gorgeous. Okay, so I have never periscoped before, but I am trying something new and I thought it might be kind of fun. So um, I am doing a sponsored post for, well, not really a sponsored post. I'm uh, joining in on a blog hop for Expressions Vinyl. And so I am going to make a tote bag for my daughter for piano. And I thought it just might be fun to do this on Periscope. Oh, look, thank you for the hearts, guys. Um, so I thought this might be fun to do it on Periscope and just try it out. Like I said, I've never done this before. So hopefully it works. Well, obviously it's working, but Okay, so I'm gonna switch my camera here and see. I've got this really cool mount that I'm gonna put my phone in. Okay, so here is my canvas bag that I am going to be using. Now from Expressions Vinyl, I got this really cool vinyl. Here it is before it's cut. It's this really cool blue glittery vinyl. And I cut it out with my Cricut to say life without music would be flat. Do you get that? Isn't that funny? So, and then I'm just going to iron this onto my canvas bag, just like this. And then my daughter will have a brand new tote bag to put her piano books in to take to piano lessons. So hopefully this works. We're just gonna iron this on. I've already preheated my iron. Now when you're doing heat transfer vinyl, you just need to give constant pressure all over for about 30 seconds. And since this is a larger vinyl, I'm just going to move it around and hopefully it takes. So while I'm ironing, how are all of my periscopers today? Are you guys having a great day? Today is my Friday off. So I am taking advantage of it by getting some crafting done and getting ready for some blog posts that I need to do next week. Okay, so it looks like, from my angle, that it should be stuck. Now what I love about vinyl, this happens whether it's just regular vinyl that you're putting on a project or heat transfer vinyl, as you can see, when it's, oh, see, it's not completely stuck yet. So this is what I love. I can just put it back down and apply more pressure to make sure that it's good and stuck. Now I didn't measure this. I'm not a perfectionist. I don't like things to be, well, I like them to look nice and to be centered, but I don't like to take the time to do it. So, Let's see, let's try this again. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna hold it down just with my, my finger as I pull it off. Oh, look, it's sticking. Yay, it's working. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, it's not quite as stuck as I want it to be. So, I'm gonna add more pressure. Do any of you watching have any great heat transfer tips that you want to share through comments? I would love to know, and plus maybe the other six of you would like to know too. Oh, Summer likes doing crafts with heat vinyl. Yay, thank you, Summer. I'm so glad that you joined me. This is fun, it's my first one. My first Periscope anyways. Not my first time with heat transfer vinyl, but First periscope, so it's kind of exciting. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Oh, and it's coming off. Look at how fun. Okay, those aren't quite there. Ow, that's hot. Weird that an iron would be hot. I always use a towel over the top. Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe if this doesn't work, I might have to try that, Amy. Thank you. What does the towel do, Amy? 
Does it just keep your fingers from burning or does it help it stick better? Okay, we're gonna try this again. I'm waving with my hand. I can see the sparkly and I love the sparkly. It makes me so happy. Yay! Look at that, it worked! Okay, I think I will go get a towel and do what Amy from the Happy Scrap suggested is I'll go back over it with my iron with the towel just to make sure that it's all good. But yay! Isn't it cute? Hey, I love it. And thank you guys so much for joining me for my very first Periscope. So make sure and stop by my blog at the beginning of next week is when this blog or when this project will be posted. So thanks guys and I hope you all have a wonderful and amazing day. <laughs>